I'd like to introduce our state junior vice commander, Lynn Rolfe. Welcome to everyone out here, and thank you so much to the DeSoto VFW and all the great volunteers that pulled off this special occasion. Uh, just reflecting over there, listening to your words, uh, brought back some memories of me personally. Um, a good friend of mine was an actual son of a Vietnam veteran that was just repatriated this past week. Um, thinking back on those words, even though Everyone in the VFW understands the honor of this missing man table. Um, brought an extra special meaning to me. I just kind of thought about it over the last few days and then, and then to hear those words just really hit home. So, uh, I'm sure everyone's seen and heard the song that Alan Jackson uh, made, made famous. You know, everyone remembers where we were that day on 9-11. I remember I was just getting ready to walk across the stage down to Fort Leonard Wood, receive my little MP badge, getting ready to take command of a military police task force out of Fort Riley. And all of us sat there on that stage and said, you know what, we're going to do something about this. We knew, just like the Flight 93 passengers said, let's roll. Every single one of us younger soldiers knew that it was going to be our time to put our lives on the line to defend our country. Many of the current soldiers that are currently fighting overseas right now have joined since 9-11. I truly believe, just like the uh, Pearl Harbor attacks, this is our generation's Pearl Harbor attack. Those soldiers and sailors and Marines, Coast Guardsmen are putting their lives on the line for, for a fatal flaw that the uh, Al-Qaeda, whoever you want to deem, is responsible. Um, we're making them pay right now, and we're doing great things for those, for those uh, memories of everyone that was lost, the police, the fire department, and even those civilians that were trapped in the buildings. The commanding general of Fort Leavenworth that just left was in the Pentagon, and he lost his secretary that morning. He just so happened to be in a briefing. Right down the road in Olathe, there was a young chief petty officer, Ronald Hemingway. His parents still live down in Olathe. And he just so happened to be walking down the hallway when the, when the uh, airliner flew into the Pentagon. So with that, take some time, reflect, and please do not forget both, both the reasons why we're here. Help us spread the word, the importance of our POW MIA initiative, and of course, the Patriot Day. Thank you so much. Good morning. It's an honor for me to be here with all of you this morning for this memorial ceremony. It's a chance for our community to come together to remember those who lost their lives on 9-11 and to pay tribute to the rescue workers and military personnel who put their lives on the line every day, everywhere, across this country and the world on our behalf. I can think of no place more appropriate to do this than right here at the DeSoto VFW at this hollow ground. September 11th is a day we Americans will forever associate with the bravery and sacrifice of the citizens of this great country. Many of us were thousands of miles away from New York, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. on that morning 10 years ago today. But the images will always be with us of the firefighters, police officers, military, emergency medical personnel rushing in to save the lives of those in trouble, sometimes losing their own along the way. Since that tragedy, our country has been in a number of disasters that have hit close to home, such as hurricanes, earthquakes, and a tornado in Joplin. As with all incidents, emergency personnel always forsake their own safety to save the lives of others. The same can be said with our brothers and sisters today that are placed in harm's way overseas, protecting the very blanket of freedom that we live under every day. When every normal human instinct told us that it's time to flee, we ran in so that we might save somebody else. All incidents bring tragedy, regardless of the pain we feel in our hearts and souls, the sun always rises. First responders and military personnel always step up when the call is made. These folks don't do this only when terrorist attacks or when major disasters occur.
they do it every day in every community in America, even right here in DeSoto. And so on this day each year, it's appropriate for us that we take a few minutes to pay tribute not to those lost on 9-11, but to the memories of all those who have perished in our service. Let us honor the first responders for their commitment to their fellow human beings, to their communities, and to life. And let us thank them on a day that will always fill our hearts with cold, hard sorrow for replacing a little of what that sorrow with the, with the warm, soft feeling of gratitude and hope.